What's up, everyone? If you don't know me, my name is Zach, and I'm the founder of FullStackFoundations.com. Today, I have an absolutely no-fluff guide to using ChatGPT to help you both learn to code and or code more efficiently. In this video, I'm going to share 17 prompts that have helped make my developer workflow more effective. Each prompt is going to get slightly more advanced as we progress through the video. The first couple will be beginner prompts. And by the end, we're going to cover some prompts I use all the time professionally. Prompt number 15 is my favorite, so be sure to stick around for that. Let's dive in. We're going to start off with a crowd favorite, the fix my code prompt. You just paste in some code that you've written that's not working and let AI do the rest. It does an excellent job at explaining the parts of your code that were wrong and even writes comments in the code showing what it modified. Moving on to prompt number two, which is very similar to the first, instead of asking it to fix the code, we're gonna ask it to improve the code. This prompt is a little bit limited once you start getting into more complex code, but it works great when you're just starting out. Prompt number three completes that beginner trifecta and it is explain this code. When you're jumping into a code base for the first time, or maybe you're trying to understand some random script that you found on the internet that's gonna solve your business's problems, it often takes a while to figure out what is going on. AI can accelerate this process and really get yourself up to speed faster with it. Another great prompt that I recommend to all beginners is to ask ChatGPT to guide you through a uh, concept step by step. Be sure to explicitly tell it to make the learning interactive, otherwise it's just gonna dump a bunch of information in front of you, which may not be so helpful. I use this prompt all the time when I need to get up to speed on a brand new technology that I've never worked with. And speaking of that, you can further improve that prompt by telling the AI that you're already familiar uh, with something else and then ask it to bridge the gap. For example, if I know JavaScript already and I need to learn Ruby, I can prompt it to interactively teach me Ruby through that lens of JavaScript. It's a beginner level tutorial that is perfectly tailored to your own skill set. Once you learn a concept, you can use the AI to give you ideas of what other topics would be useful to learn. Now, don't get carried away with this and certainly don't base your entire career or learning roadmap by what ChatGPT tells you. Um, the idea with this one is to get some exposure and some ideas of what's out there so that you can do further research. Your mileage may vary for the last two beginner prompts, but they address a question I get all the time, and that is this. Once I complete a tutorial, what project should I build? While AI can't make that decision for you, it can give you some really good ideas um, based on the technologies that you're currently learning. So it's really good for that. Furthermore, it can even quiz you on how that learning journey is going. Personally, I prefer platforms that are dedicated to solving coding problems such as Free Code Camp, but these little quizzes can be great little checkpoints of knowledge as you go. All right, so we are now on prompt number nine, which is starting to move past those beginner uh, stages of learning uh, and into stuff that I would use on a daily basis. So oftentimes when I'm building an app, I need to build utility functions that are somewhat generic. To avoid reinventing the wheel, I usually reach for ChatGPT to scaffold these out for me. For example, let's say I'm writing a generic mortgage calculator. People have solved this problem already before, and it's a lot faster to have ChatGPT write that equation in code versus navigating it from scratch. Number 10, this uh, thing is excellent at writing bash scripts, ChatGPT is, or any script for that matter. For example, in this prompt, I asked it to find all the images in a given directory and move them to a centralized location. If you want this done all in one line, so you can easily copy and paste it, all you have to do is ask. Prompt number 11 is great for building React components and other UI related code. In this example, I'm listing off the specific tech stack that I'm using and asking the AI to build me a UI component with that stack. I often do this to build the initial version of my React components and then go back through and tweak as needed. There are also tons of really cool platforms out there that are trying to be the better version of this be better than ChatGPT at doing these, you know, building these UI components. So um, I'll try to put some of those up on the screen or in the description. Prompt number 12 can be super useful if you're migrating code from an old code base that was written in a different language. The example here shows how we can rewrite a PHP utility function with JavaScript, but I often use this to convert, you know, plain old React JSX, 
JSX components to uh, the TypeScript version of that, TSX. It works great, I use that all the time. Now we're getting into some of my absolute favorite prompts. Um, ChatGPT is an excellent data modeling assistant. Building a clean data model is one of the most important steps that you'll take when building a new project. And while AI cannot write the entire thing for you, it's super helpful in giving you that general direction that you need and also poking holes in your existing data model that you share with it. Similarly, the next prompt is great if you are implementing a new feature and you're not super familiar with the landscape of how it all works. So for example, if you find yourself in the very rare case where you have to roll your own authentication, ChatGPT is great at providing you a checklist of best practices that you should be thinking about with that particular feature. Authentication and authorization is a pretty massive and intimidating concept. So this is a great little checklist that it gives you and gives you a good starting point to begin that research. And we have made it to number 15, which is my absolute favorite prompt. As engineers, we're constantly making decisions about how to build things. In most cases, there are a handful of possible solutions to the problem, and we have to weigh the pros and cons of each solution to make a final call on the path we're gonna take. For example, let's say that you're building an image compression service. The user will upload an image, kick off a transformation, and then they have to wait until the background workers complete that transformation. While they're waiting, you should have a loading spinner in the UI so that they know that something is happening, and you need a way to notify them when the image transformation has completed. Now there are several approaches to doing this. I've listed here in this prompt, here are the three approaches that I know about, what are the trade-offs of each of these, and it is really good at giving you those pros and cons of each approach so that you can make a more informed and complete decision or technical decision. All right, so prompt number 16 is kind of hit or miss. Since ChatGPT is not always totally up to date, you may not be able to use this for everything, but in some cases, with more mature technologies, it can be great at recommending tool sets and technologies that help accomplish very specific types of tasks. All right, finally, we are at the end, number 17, and I've tried to save somewhat of a mind-blowing one for last. This one always amazes me. In this prompt, you simply give it a language or uh, to write your script in, and then in plain English, map out the steps that you want it to take. And in many uh, cases, ChatGPT is gonna spit out a fully functional script that you just need to drop a few things in and it will run. This would have previously taken even an experienced developer several hours to write. In this one, I'm writing a script to visit a YouTube channel, find their best videos, and save that information to a file so that you can maybe do some market research a lot faster. Pretty darn cool if you ask me. All right, that's it. I hope these 17 prompts gave you some good ideas on how you can be more effective with this tool. I'd also encourage you to drop a comment if you have some prompts that you're using that I didn't mention here. I'd be interested to see how other developers are using this tool. Um, once again, all 17 of these, you can find them on my website in the description if you need a big reference um, to look back on. So check that out. And if you've made it this far, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.